is just something that I'm going to duplicate. I'm just really trying to figure out all how to do it. Let me forget say one thing. So then, I'm going to use the charts to use it. I'm going to use the charts to use this thing. Welcome back to a new vlog. Today is the big day. So today is the day that Ronnie gets here. Now, I am a bag of nerves. <laughs> I'm terrified, I'm excited, I'm nervous. All of the things. Um, but the biggest issue that I'm facing right now is that we don't have any Wi-Fi in here. And because I'm not a resident yet, which is another thing, um, I don't have a phone contract, so I don't have any data to use on my phone. So I have decided to go to Ikea this morning to A, take my mind off of Ronnie moving, um, B, we need a bed and a mattress for the spare room, and C, uh, they have Wi-Fi. So I'm going to take my laptop and do some work at Ikea. They've obviously got a nice big restaurant in there for me to just find a seat and get comfortable and not feel like I'm encroaching on other people's space. Um, so I think it's actually the perfect solution. Um, so I am ready now. I'm just gonna grab a taxi and go to Ikea and try and take my mind off of what is happening today. Um, he doesn't fly until about half past seven p.m. UK time which is like half 11 for us so it's just going to be a whole day of worry basically um, but I have faith that he will be absolutely fine um, I'm just trying to keep busy and trying to keep my mind off it do loads of work I've got loads of vlog footage to edit and um, speaking of vlog footage I was watching back all of the footage from over the last couple of months last night and I realise how many times we have been to IKEA in the last two months, which is which is just insane. Um, how we're not bored of it yet, but we're not bored of it. <laughs> um, clearly, I'm going again today. Um, so yeah, I apologise if you are bored of the IKEA content, um, but it's just it just is what it is right now. It feels weird to not have any kind of connection to the outside world, to be honest. Um, I haven't had any since I woke up this morning and it's now nearly 11 o'clock and I feel, I feel strangely okay. If, if it wasn't the big day for Ronnie, I wouldn't even think about it. I'd just sit here and, and work um, on some vlogs, but uh, because it's Ronnie's day, I need to be on WhatsApp all the time because, so we're using Paws and Pets for Ronnie's move. They're a pet relocation company and they're based here um, and they've set up a whatsapp group um, with everybody who is going to have contact with Ronnie at Heathrow and here um, so that they can update us through the whatsapp group maybe send photos videos tell us what where he's at in the in the process so that's good but it also means that I need to have wi-fi because <laughs> I need to be in that group so Anyway, I need to stop talking now and get in a taxi and go to Ikea. So I'll see you in Ikea. Um, I didn't vlog in Ikea, mainly because my head just wasn't in it today. Um, I've been worrying all day, checking my phone all day. Um, the only place I could get Wi-Fi was in Ikea. So um, yeah, I've just been sat there kind of stewing. <laughs> um, spent some money so I did buy uh, a bed and a mattress for the spare room which is great that's tick off the list um, I also bought some extra bits that we didn't necessarily need <laughs> um, I bought a rug for the hallway and a little rug for our bedroom um, I bought Ronnie a little toy and another blanket for his bed um, what else did I get? and then just a couple of hand towels um, I actually walked around the first time, bought the bed, bought the mattress, the things that I needed to get. And then I went to the restaurant and had some food and I sat there for ages, just kind of like, I knew that Ronnie was being dropped off at that time. So I just wanted to make sure that I was like there on my phone in case anyone needed me for anything, um, which they didn't, it was fine. He's dropped off now, he's at Heathrow. Um, and then I was like, 
can't do this here. <laughs> so I just, I went back around Ikea, then picked up all the other bits. Um, and yeah, it just ended up dawdling around Ikea. <laughs> Trying not to think about everything that's gonna happen in the next 12 hours. Um, so it's quarter to seven now, which means that it is quarter to three in the UK. Yeah, so I think he will actually be at the airport now. So my mum and dad dropped him off at like a, a pet, kind of like depot. And then at half past two, he was gonna go on his journey to get to Heathrow for three o'clock. So he will be, he will be there now. Yeah, I don't actually know how I'm gonna get any sleep done tonight. I don't actually think he'll be here until about eight in the morning, but he lands at about half five-ish. Oh my God, I'm rambling. <laughs> I'm so nervous, I'm just, I'm an absolute bag of nerves. Um, I have a headache, my skin is breaking out, which is fun. I might go take my makeup off now. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm stressed. I'm, I've been trying to like focus on my work and it's just not happening. I just can't focus, so I'm just doing what I can today. In 12 hours he would have landed. I'm trying to think of that. In 11 hours actually he would have landed. So I'm just trying to focus on him being here. Well, some procrastinating. I'll show you what I bought from Ikea. <laughs> um, I bought a runner, which actually looks very plain now I'm looking at it in the camera. Um, it's obviously from Ikea but it's just like a really thin one and I like it because you can put it in the washing machine and that was really cheap that was about eight pounds or something so I just want to kind of soften it up in here a little bit because everywhere is so hard um, I haven't made the bed and we got a beige rug for the dressing area Ronnie has taken off and weirdly, his flight is the number six, or number eight, is it number eight? Yeah, number, number eight, eight it was number six. worldwide, being tracked by 368 people. All of Ronnie's friends and family. <laughs> so yeah, Jake's got the flight radar app on his phone and I'm sat here on my laptop. It is currently half past 11 at night and I will probably still be here in six hours watching the map. It is the next morning. <clears throat> the time is 9.33. Ronnie was delayed coming in. Not, not the flight, but the vet didn't turn up. Or well, the vet phoned in sick um, at this end. So they had to find a new vet to do all his health clearance and everything um, so that he can be officially cleared to enter the UAE, which has now been done. We got some photos um, and a little video of him having a drink. So he's okay, he's fine, he's landed, he's all good. Um, and yeah, now they're on their way. They said they'll be here at 10.40, so about an hour, which is gonna be the longest hour of my life. Um, but yeah, one hour. So I don't know what to do in this hour. I feel like I'm just gonna be going out of my mind if I just sit and scroll. So I need to do something and I think I'm gonna clean. I think I'm just gonna clean the flat in an hour, see what I can get done. Um, keep my mind busy, maybe put some AirPods in, listen to a podcast and just keep my mind busy. But yes, he's here, nearly, <laughs> nearly here. I just can't wait to see him. I just can't wait to see him. I'm so excited. Um, yeah. We just got a text that he's five minutes away. Um, you got your phone on you? Yeah. This is the easy part. I know, I know, I just hope he's okay. This is the easy part. Yeah. There he is. Yeah, that's good. 
this. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's oh such god. a nerd. It's weird it's to see him here. Trust me, it's more special. <laughs> Tired boy. You jet lagged. Uh -huh. Jet lagged after your long flight. and lifts and construction noise, lots of water. He's a bit out of his comfort zone. He's not used to the, uh, the city life. He's used to countryside. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, no, he's, he's doing well. I think he's milking it for the trees, to be honest. <laughs> 